On October 30th, the Metcalf County School District was presented with a federal grant of over $500,000 for the creation of a new community center. The community center will contain a fitness area, classrooms for community education, and much, much more for the community's benefit. The grant was applied for through the Appalachian Regional Community with the assistance of the Barron River Area Development District. Kentucky State Representative Bart Rowland and National Representative James Comer spoke at the presentation of the grant. We spoke to them and Brad Executive Director Eric Sexton about the grant and its significance to Metcalf County. Hello, I'm here with Representative Bart Rowland at the Metcalf County Central Office where the school was just presented with a grant to go towards community education and a community center. So Representative Rowland, why do you think that grants such as the ones that the school district received today, why do you think they're so important to communities such as ours? Well, certainly, uh, you're, when you're talking about a project of this size, it takes, it takes a lot of dollars. And uh, many times, there's just not the ability for local school districts to raise those kind of funds. So getting state and national uh, agencies involved uh, with their resources is really the only way to get projects like this off the ground. With this grant being focused so heavily towards community education with the building of the community center, why do you think that community education is important to an area like ours? Uh, well, it, it does a couple of different things. If I understand the intent of the building here, it's going to be uh, adult education classes uh, for those um, for those folks uh, who don't have possibly don't have uh, high school degrees. And then there also is a, a wellness component to it. Uh, so, if it's my understanding, there's going to be a wellness center that's going to be available for not only the school to use but the community as well. So, it's really a great fit for this area. So, along with it being a great fit and a big beneficial boost to the community. What are some other issues that you think that uh, face Metcalf County and areas like ours in South Central Kentucky? Uh, well, always, always it's jobs and uh, this facility certainly will be attractive to businesses who might uh, potentially want to locate here or to existing businesses who may want to expand uh, to see this facility, to have it available for use by the citizens uh, certainly won't hurt when it comes to economic development. So before we wrap this up here, is there anything else you'd like to add to any viewer watching at home? Uh, no, it's just uh, it's it's always a pleasure to get to be in Metcalf County, especially on days when we're presenting a, a half a million dollar check to the school system and to the citizens of the county. It's uh, uh, the honor of my lifetime to get to represent you all in Frankfort, and uh, it's just a wonderful county. My wife uh, taught here for first four and a half years of uh, of her teaching career, uh, and I lived in Summershade for eight years as a child. So Metcalf County is certainly home to both of us. It feels like, and and I'm excited to be here today. Uh, handing out some money. Well, we appreciate everything you've done for us and thank you very much today for your time. Thank you. Hello, I'm here with Congressman James Comer at the Metcalf County Central Office where the school district was presented with a grant for a new community center coming summer of next year. So, Congressman Comer, why do you think that grants such as these are so important for rural areas like ours? Well, it's very important because the rural areas, uh, Metcalf County is like Monroe County where I'm from. Uh, we don't have a vibrant economy with a growing tax base, so we have to depend on grants uh, to be able to do projects like this. And fortunately for Metcalf County, you have some excellent grant writers here in the school system. They've done a very good job not only writing a good grant, but also selling it and, and convincing the, the appropriators that this project was worthy for the community, and I'm excited about it. I know that everything that uh, the Metcalf County School System does from a, from a project standpoint always turns out really well. Uh, you have tremendous facilities here in Metcalf County. Uh, this project that uh, has been announced today, it's going to be uh, uh, consistent with every other project that you've, the school system's done. Uh, it's going to benefit the community. It's going to benefit the students, and I'm real excited about it. So this grant is mainly focused towards the community center and community education as a whole. Why do you feel like that is an important for an area like ours? Well, I think it's important. Uh, in, in a rural community, everybody knows everyone. Uh, it, it's, it's always good to have places where people can gather. Uh, this is going to give the students an opportunity to do some things. Uh, the students are going to learn to interact. Uh, this is a great place to develop 
um, communication skills for the students, uh, networking for the students. It's also going to be a great opportunity for the students to learn how to do things like start a new business and, and work in a job. So uh, I'm excited about this project. Uh, it's what I call a, a good community uh, school system project where the, the school system administers it, but it's open for the whole community. Uh, everyone wins. And, you know, if you're talking about some of the needs of this community in the future, uh, Metcalf County is like... Uh, like Greene County, Monroe County, we need to try to attract more jobs. Uh, one of the selling points for Metcalf County, for a prospective industry, is you have a school system that's growing, that's progressive, they're always trying to do new things, uh, always trying to work with the community, and I think that uh, this project will further demonstrate Metcalf County is a great place to own a business and raise a family and get an education. So you mentioned jobs and educations and things like that. What are some other major issues that you see for an area like Metcalf in South Central Kentucky? Well, uh, in, in Washington, D.C., one of the biggest issues that we're dealing with, uh, and it's been an uphill battle, is health care. Uh, Medica uh, Medicaid is a big issue in, in Metcalf County, just like it is in Monroe County, where I'm from. Uh, he affordable health care. Uh, everyone is struggling to pay for health care now. Uh, so... Uh, Rural areas tend to have higher health care premiums than urban areas because uh, on paper, people that live in smaller towns are, are older. And uh, health, health insurance companies, which are very difficult to deal with, they don't oftentimes want to uh, write business in rural areas. So uh, that's a challenge. Health care is a challenge in, in this area. Uh, you know, anytime you're, you're, you're looking at a rural community in the school system, you want to have a, a community that's growing, that, that's got a tax base that's increasing every year. And that's, that's a challenge for rural communities. But uh, you have great mayor here in Edmonton. You have a great uh, uh, fiscal court, great school system. And I, I'm confident that Metcalf County is going to continue to uh, grow and do well. And the goal is for people like you, the bright young people at Metcalf County High School, when you graduate from high school, if you go further your education somewhere, we want you to come back to Metcalf County and be able to have opportunities here. And, and this project today is another tool in the toolbox for the community uh, to be able to sell itself to prospective industries to be able to have opportunities for you and the next generation. So I'm real excited about today. It's a great day for Metcalf County. Well, as we wrap things up here, is there anything else you'd like to add for anyone watching at home? Well, I'm, I'm a brand new United States Congressman. I've been in office one year. And uh, before that, I was a state representative for 11 years and represented Metcalf County. I was commissioner of agriculture for four years. So uh, I've had a long relationship with, with uh, this community, and I believe that uh, there's not a better community in the state of Kentucky than, than Metcalf County, uh, whether it's Center or Knoblick or, or Summershade or Beaumont, you know, you've got a great community where everybody knows everyone and a tremendous school system here. So I always love coming to Metcalf County, and today's a great day because this is going to be a project that's going to benefit the community for, for decades in the future. Well, we appreciate your involvement in the community, and we appreciate your time today. Thank well, you thank very, you very much. much. Appreciate it. I'm here with Eric Sexton, an executive director of BRAD, an agency which was a key part of the school district applying for this grant. So... Mr. Sexton, why do you th feel that it's important for our county specifically to get a grant so large as this? Uh, sure, Ethan. The, uh, the grant that we received is um, applied through the Appalachian Regional Commission. It's called an ARC grant. Um, Metcalf County out of the Brad region is one of four counties that are eligible to write in this grant. So when we went through this process or when my office went through this process, this was actually prior to, to my tenure with the agency, they were able to, to get the funding secured through that grant. So I think any time that we can take those federal dollars and bring them down to the local level so that they can uh, use that to uh, a project such as this that will better our community, it's always a win-win. So as a local resident of Metcalf County, what do you feel is a big benefit of gaining this grant in the community center being built? Uh, sure, Ethan. Um, community education, I think, is at the heart of, of all of our local communities and they provide services that a lot of times we can't get through um, through regular um, resources and so when you have uh, a strong community education program um, it's able to reach out to not, not just your traditional student that we think of but to those lifelong learners as well so those adults and um, different populations of people um, through their programming and they can um, receive um, a lot of great services or community education and it can help people throughout their entire lives, right. not just actual 
K through 12 students. That's right. Um, so anything, we always think in education about the, those, those grades that you mentioned, and, and sometimes we think about post-secondary, the, the high schools and the technical schools, but community education reaches even beyond that to learners of all backgrounds and all demographics. So being able to have a strong community education hub here in Metcalf County uh, is very important, I think, to the overall well-being uh, of the county. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Sexton, for your part in us getting this grant, and thank you very much for your time today. All right. Thanks for your time, Ethan. We appreciate it. Whoa!